Hi everyone. Okay, so your Keurig machine isn't working and you're dying for your first cup of coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is it's going to take two seconds to fix it so you can have your first cup of coffee and then after that I'll show you how to take it apart and fix it permanently so it doesn't plug up again. So first of all, find yourself a paper clip and bend it out like that. Let's so open up the machine and look underneath here and you'll see that pointy thing that pokes through the K-cup. So now just take the paper clip and poke it up alongside of that needle and it'll go right up inside and it'll clear out any debris that's up in there. You're now ready to brew a cup of coffee so go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how to fix it permanently so this doesn't plug up again. So first take it over to the sink and tip it over and drain out any water that may be in it. Then take the machine and lay it on its back. And once you get the lid open you'll see right in the corners right here there's a couple of screws. Once you have the two screws out, just lift up the front and the back has two little plastic claws in the back that go in towards this way. So you want to lift it up and push it back and it'll unclip and it'll come out. You see those little clips right there? So this is the hose that the hot water comes up and it goes through that nozzle that you just cleaned out. And it has a zip tie on there. We want to take the zip tie off and pull the hose off. Now reach underneath where the K-cup uh, needle is and there'll be a rubber that's around the needle and just take it, wiggle it and take it off. Take that and give that a nice clean job. Now remove the two screws that hold the nozzle in. And now just grab it and pull it out and there it is right there. There's the needle that was getting plugged up. Now just take it over to a clean piece of paper and give it a tap. There's the culprit right there. That's the little guy that was stuck inside of the nozzle. But you see, if we do use the uh, paper clip to poke it out, it's still inside of the pipe and eventually it'll plug up again. Now I'll take half a cup of water and pour it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to brew up a half a cup and have it come out of the pipe right here, back into the cup. And we're going to get all the crud that might be inside of that pipe. As it's brewing, you'll see little chunks of crud starting to come out of that pipe. Once you see what's in the cup, you'll know why your coffee maker wasn't working. And the only part you're going to need when we go to put it back together is one 4-inch zip tie to put back around the hose. Well, I hope this video has helped. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.